Skip Spurs beat the Rockets last night to move within a half a game of the Lakers for that 10th spot in the West. And of course, the conference's final play-in spot. San Antonio plays Memphis next, then gets two games against Portland, the league's worst team since the All-Star break. Shannon, the Lakers were the preseason favorites to win everything yep. in most people's eyes. How much do you think missing the play-in tournament altogether would hurt LeBron's legacy? Zero. Zero? Zero. Uh, LeBron and James is redefining what it means to play at an extended high level for an extended period of time. Um, he could win a scoring title. Um, he could make first team all NBA. He's averaging 30 points a game and uh, he's played, what, 55, 50, I think 50 plus games. Um, I, I think the thing is that when you look at it, you look at Anthony Davis has missed half the season with injuries. Uh, Russell Westbrook. He did all of that, but they still, they still not even making the playoffs. So what that mean? Empty calorie, empty stat, empty everything. So, so, so try again, Uncle Shea Shea. He did all of that. He can't win all of that. He still don't mean anything because it, the lick has been sore since day one. He playing center. He's still not having 10. He's still not giving you a 10 rebounds per season. He's still not even giving you 100 blocks a season. So what does all of that mean? All of that you just, you just talk, you just cap, you just twerk for your man. It don't mean a damn thing because the Lakers are sorry. They are sorry on offense. They are sorry on defense, actually. Sorry. They're not sorry on offense. They're sorry on defense. You started with your guy, your man, your boyfriend, LeBron. He's not playing no defense at all. He's supposed to be playing center. He don't want no smoke from any, any top centers. So, once again, what's all of that mean, Uncle Shea Shea? It don't mean a damn thing because your guy is not doing what he's supposed to do. Has not performed to the level that many expected him to, and this is where we are. Um, did missing the playoff in Washington the last two years hurt Michael Jordan's legacy? Absolutely not. Michael Jordan had to retire twice just to make it through 50. Okay, let, let, let's just go uh, with the, the narrative that oh, Michael Jordan thing. Before Michael Jordan got hurt, he had the team on fourth place, and then he got hurt, and then they missed the playoff. Y'all boys just can go out there and look that shit up. Before Jordan got hurt when he was playing for uh, D.C., he had them in fourth place. It was a tough East at that time. He had them in fourth place. Then he got injured. I think he break his rib, and then, and then everything collapsed. So that's not the same thing, Uncle Shea Shea. If it's anything, LeBron got more help than Jordan did. At that time, Jordan didn't even have a top 75. Or a Hall of Famer. He didn't have none of that. Your guy got Westbrook, Hall of Famer, and Top 75. Mello, Hall of Famer, and Top 75. AD, Hall of Famer, and Top 75. And they also got Dwight Howard. What is his excuses? Le Shannon. You got to keep it one thou wow. 15 seasons. Did that hurt his legacy? Absolutely not. So once you get to a level and you've accomplished what these men have accomplished, there's nothing that's going to change the perception of them and what uh, and what people have. Now, if you don't like LeBron, yeah, yeah, you see, he missed the play. He didn't even make the play. Yet. You can't really, and on top of that, you can't even compare Jordan with LeBron at that time. Jordan had six championships, six Six MVP, six finals, MVP, five. Jordan was already accomplished. And he also was been the top, the greatest of all time. So you can't really you can't really compare the resume, LeBron resume and Jordan resume. This is like day and night. He didn't even make the play in tournament. But if you understand basketball and you understand what this man has been able to do this year. Minus his best second. Well, supposedly Anthony Davis was supposed to be able to take the team over. When he got there, it was LeBron's final year, and then Anthony Davis was going to, was going to transition and be the number one option. But for whatever reason, he hasn't. Let Shannon, I'm going to let you finish, but uh, you, you, you know you know what AD was before he got there. AD been injured like that all the time. And New Orleans, people forgot. 
Hell, AD didn't even play his first year because he was injured. AD was supposed to be part of the 2012 um, Olympic. He didn't even play because he was injured. So the fact that you're trying to blame AD right now, you knew AD was injury prone. Stop it, man. Let's Shannon try again, bro. Try again. AD been injured all the time. He he was injured last season in the New Orleans. He was injured before that. And he was injured when they had Boogie. So, okay, let's Shannon, stop it. Not been able to stay healthy. He has not been able to be uh, what the Lakers had hoped he was going to be after that first season because the first season, he was sensational. Russ, for whatever reason, I get it. He hadn't been able to uh, have the ball as much. He's been asked to do a lot of different things, and it's affected his play, which has affected the Lakers' play. But for me, Skip, when I look at it, no, nah, I, I don't see it happening. I just see a guy that's playing at an extremely high level, and a lot of his effort, he scored the most 30 points in, in a losing effort. That just goes to show you no matter how. Russ can be effective because you got LeBron James right there with the ball in his hand all the time. He want the ball in his hand all the time. And LeBron is not a, a off the ball player. Russ can only play with an off the ball player. A guy like KD, a guy like Bradley Beal, a guy like James Harden. Those guys don't need the ball in their hands all the time. Westbrook does. And you knew that. LeBron knew that. You know what I'm saying? And all these 30 points you're talking about, Le Shannon, it's empty calorie if you're not winning. It really is. Empty calorie if you're not winning. So like I said, you're going to have to try harder than that, Le Shannon, because you, you're making it easy right now for your guy to get smoked. How well he plays sometimes is not enough to overcome what's transpiring within his own team. So for me, it's not going to change one thing the way I think about LeBron James because I look at him and the numbers that he's putting up, they should be equating uh, to, to winning more. But for whatever reason, it has not. So if they miss the playoffs, nope, it's not going to change anything for me. Mm. Yeah, you're just as delusional as the billion other blind witnesses out there. But you, I, I just want, okay, I, okay, how about this? Mm -hmm. Did the last two years in Washington. Okay, thank you for bringing that up. It's yes. my turn okay. now. Michael Jordan didn't have to retire twice. He was forced out the first time for reasons we won't go into, but that was almost two years. And then on principle, because Jerry Krause and Jerry Reinsdorf said, we are going to remove Phil Jackson from this equation and we're going to elevate this unknown at Iowa State named Tim Floyd. And we're gonna go forward with Tim Floyd as our next Phil. Michael said, on principle, if you do that, I will walk into the sunset and I will stay into the sunset. And he did. He quit on principle for three long years, mm -hmm. three, the, the back three of his prime. Then at age 39 and 40, he went back as a ceremonial player to coach and, and, Why was and play in Washington because he was actually the head coach. I know Doug Collins, his former coach, was there, but, but he was going to be a player coach in Washington. And so he manager. just did it for fun. He was the whole show. He yeah. ran the franchise for a You see what you did, Skip? Mm -hmm. 39 and 40. Think about what you just said. Out of shape. Think about, really think about, no, no, no. Think about, so, so that should have harmed his legacy. Mm. Michael Jordan, a, 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 a well-oiled machine yeah. that played at the height. Mm -hmm. He came back and played out of shape and that did nothing to his legacy? Mm. They went 35 and 47 in those two years and missed the playoffs. And this team is going to be worse than that team. And this team has a 37-year-old LeBron James. In year 19. This team, by all odds makers' odds, before the season started, was favored to win the whole thing. Yeah. Our On top of that, when Jordan was in the Washington, nobody looked at the team and said, um, they they finna win they finna win a championship. They in they in um they in championship mode. No, nobody look at that team and said that LeBron got top seventy five, three top seventy five with him, plus Hall of Famers all around him. So there it shouldn't be no excuses why the team is not performing at a high level as they should. None whatsoever. So I do not want to hear no excuses, bro. I, I don't want to hear. It. I don't want to hear, Lashannon. I don't want to hear it. Your guy is not the guy. Stop it. 
Are you kidding? And Tampa was favored to win the Super Bowl. Were, were those Wizards favored to win? They should have been. They got to go. Oh, oh, they had to go. Well, he he used to be the goat. No, 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 no. That's what. No, 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 no. Uh. No, usually once you become the goat, you're the goat. So he should have been favored. I'm just asking you because you can't. Okay, let's just say for the sake of argument, I agree with you. The first time he had to retire was not of his own choosing. Mm. But nevertheless, it happened. The third, t the second time, the three years that he took off, he chose that. He came back knowing that he wasn't out, that he was out of shape, knowing that and he didn't make the playoffs, and still you and you talk about, oh, that was just ceremonial. And that doesn't chart us his legacy. Mm, but we hear about LeBron every telecast. We hear he spends more money on his fitness than anybody's ever spent. It goes up Cap. by the telecast. It's one million, then it goes to two million. It's all cap. Everybody spend money on their on their body. Everybody spend money on the um, physical uh, appearance. So, so I don't want to hear that. I don't want to. And if you if you guys look really look at how LeBron is playing, for a guy that spent that much money on his body, he looked tired. Half of the time he looked tired. Like by the time the second half come around, he tired. So no, I don't I don't want to hear that shit. In. No one's ever spent as much money. I guess Tom have Brady doesn't have, spend a penny. Have anybody ever played at that level in the NBA at mm -hmm. year 19? So here's what's happened right before your very eyes. I think LeBron realizes what a tarnish this is going to be on his legacy because to go from favorite to we miss the play-in tournament? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? And finish, I don't know, 15, 16 games under 500? That's the path they're on right, right now because right. They're, they're only going to be favored in one more game. They got eight left. They're going to be favored at home against Oklahoma City, and that's it. Right. Right? Yeah. Okay? They only have three more home games. So the point was, at All-Star break, the genius, the basketball genius, LeBron James, that he is, he sat back and said, I don't got... At the All-Star break, that man was twerking out. I mean, literally twerking out, man. He was talking, oh, about Sam Presti. Giving Sam Presti all type of glory, giving all these guys all type of glories and stuff. And then he even turned around and said, I want to play with my son. Whatever my son is, that's where I want to be. If I'm the Lakers, fuck this dude, man. I, I, what extension are we talking about? I wouldn't, I wouldn't give him nothing. And then the Lakers only got two picks left. And if they give it away, it's a wrap, bro. It's over with. So if I'm the Lakers, I kept that pick. Because when this dude go... Man, it's over with. Got it, man. I'm not being able to lift this team, e even with what I do have. I wanted Russ. I wanted Melo. I wanted Dwight. He likes Malik Monk. He, he loves THT. But even then, I'm, I'm not capable anymore of lifting a team into even the playoffs. He realized that at All-Star break. And he said, you know what? I got to take the focus off us missing the playoffs because I believe he knew then. He they saw the handwriting on the locker room wall. We're, we're not going to even make the play-in tournament. He said, I've got to undercut it. I've got to mitigate it. How could I? Oh, I know. I can go all in to win the scoring title. And that's what you're seeing right before your very eyes. He's I agree with you with that, Skip. And on top of that, that man been shoot first, not pass first. Like, they keep saying, oh, LeBron is a pass first guy. This season, he been shooting first. That's why if you're looking at, if you guys look at LeBron all-time assists, he have the lowest assists of all season. Some Sometimes he don't even have seven assists. It's a lot of games I watch, I watch this man, he don't even have seven assists. So all this thing they keep telling you, he make every team it better, cap. He make all these guys better, cap. Every single player that LeBron got on that team, most of them was already, the stars was already stars before LeBron, they, before they played with LeBron. And when they played with LeBron, they, they, they legacy tarnished. A la Camelo, Chris Bosh, Kevin Love, the list go on and on, man. Turn into the ultimate solo act. He's actually Russell Westbrook without KD in Oklahoma City. That's what he is. He's just gone total solo. He's going to average effectively a triple-double for the whole season, except in this case, 
His triple-double is going to be win the scoring title, and he is perfectly positioned as we speak. He's 30.1. He's ahead of both Embiid and Giannis right yes. now, mm -hmm. and he's also taken the most shots in, uh, per game. In That's the normally uh, Jordan okay. did that. Okay. Jordan did that eight times okay. in 10 also, years of winning the scoring title. There were two times when he didn't do it. But he was second. Okay. All right, okay. So, 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 I'm just saying but, he didn't but but see, I, I, No, no, shots. but I don't want you to make him seem like the person that takes the 10 most shots leave the league and scored. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant did it, but Kevin Durant led the league uh, four times. Twice he was fourth. Okay. So you still got to shoot the basketball. Okay, so what are we seeing since the All-Star break? Genius at work because LeBron said, This is what I saw. Shoot first, pass later. That's what I saw. Shoot first and pass later. Meaning he playing over, over 30 plus minutes every night. Just the other night, the night that he claimed that he hurt, that man scored, that man played 42 minutes. Not a lick of defense. Not a lick of defense whatsoever. And they were up 23 points. And they lose that game. So I don't want to hear that shit, man. Y'all niggas need to stop that shit. Hmm. Two years ago, I led the league in assists. He led the whole league right. in assists at 10.2. Right. Since the All-Star break, he's averaging 5.6 assists. It's it's almost half as few as, as what right. he did it, just two years right. ago, right? right? But you just said it yourself. Now, he had 12 assists against Cleveland. Why? Because Augustine was 6 of 6. Guys mm -hmm. were making shots. 6 of 6. That's yeah. going to help. Okay. How, okay. how often is that going to happen? Well, how, what, what, what then? how do you expect him to average 10 assists if guys can't make shots? Has his emphasis been on scoring or assisting? Well, Shannon, y'all keep saying he make everybody better. So, hey, if he make everybody better, make, make them better. Pass the ball to them. It don't matter. Make them better. Right? Y'all keep claiming that he make every teammate better. So, make him better. And, and, and stop twerking for him then, Shannon. It's yeah. been on scoring. No, if you look at Leading the, the league in shots. If, if LeBron James has played the exact same way. Yes, he's taking more shots and he's taking more from threes. But he'll come out one quarter and get hot. The next quarter, he'll try to get guys involved. He sees that's not working, he'll try to score. Then he comes back and tries to get guys involved. You see it. Mm. You even get upset. No, nah, Shannon. He he go out there and and then he on scoring mode from the from the tip to the end. And here and there, he might pass the ball if he got trapped, if he can't go to the basket, or if he can't can shoot the ball. But for the most part, all he been doing is shoot first. For a guy that make everybody better, he been shooting first. And he playing center, he can't even give you 10 rebounds every single game. So I don't understand that shit. But yet, this, this thing is supposed to be better than Bird. Okay. Like LeBron, you got to take the shot. Why would he try to pass the ball? He passed the ball. Late, he late, should, late. He passes the ball. He should have shot it. He shoots the ball. He should pass because he's only averaging 60 well, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. He has been a disaster of a closer for this team, and I'm not exaggerating it. I'm, I, you can say I'm piling on our cheap shot. No, it's good. You're telling it like it is. He is. He's been a disaster for closing for this team. He's not the closer. Simple as that, man. You don't want the ball in LeBron's hands at the end of the game. No. No, I'm telling you the God's truth. This year especially, there have been at least a dozen games in which he has failed to close so miserably and laughably that, he, that you and the billions of blind witnesses, I think you know in your heart of hearts, man, he just have can't it, pull it. Have he it, can't bring it home have, anymore. Have it, has it been worse at closing Ooh. than the best play in the NBA? I, I don't even care. I, I, I don't care, no! This ain't about... This is not about the best player in the NBA, LaShannon. You are you over here on TV twerking for your man. This is about your boo boo LeBron. So that's what we're talking about. We ain't talking about KD. We ain't talking about Giannis. We ain't talking about none of these guys. We're talking about LeBron, your boyfriend. Yes, it is. No, 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 no. Okay. The best player. Okay. Has he all been all right, worth all right. it? Okay, I'll accept that. He's had a rough year. But, but this guy, <laughs> this guy has no closer gene because he has no clutch gene. So, so what does that say? I have seen Kevin Durant be as clutch as you want. I saw a gold medal game in which he just said, get out of the way and give me the damn yeah, ball really. and let me shoot the free throws. Go, go, Who really do you man. want at the late game free throw line? Help me out. You want LeBron shaky hand at James or you want KD saying, give me the damn ball. I'll go down there. If Dave... I answer that for him. 
I'll take KD. I'll take KD in a, in a, in a, on the free throw line to, to close out the game. He's going to choke two straight free throws. I'll go switch that, two straight. Game, 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 game over. Know game, but, okay. game was injured. Okay. How about this? You can't okay. shoot free throws injured. Okay, okay. Stop it. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me just concede you this. Okay, mm -hmm. Kevin Durant is more clutch than LeBron. Mm -hmm. He should have been able to bring these things home mm -hmm. for the next day, okay. right? Well, LeBron should have brought home. Okay, um... People forgot KD had them number one before before he got injured. Number one in the East before he got number one in the East before he got injured. Your guy, LeBron, didn't get the Lakers number number top five in the East before before all before AD got injured or after AD got injured. So does that mean your guy is not number one? Hmm. But at least 12 games, and we'd be having a slightly different conversation. But then Basketball Genius kicked in. He said, I can do this. And people will be raving about me in year 19 winning the scoring title. It's only your second one. Jordan had 10. But to say, I won the scoring title at age 37 in year 19. Unprecedented. Way to go. Brilliant strategy because it's sleight of hand. It's taking the, the audience's focus off you just missed the whole playoffs? No, but I won the scoring so, time. So is that what? Sure, I will remember it. You missed the whole playoff. At the end of the day, what's, what is the scoring title is over the playoff? Nothing. Oh, it's, but, so, but, so he'll say, I actually improved my legacy. So, so I enhanced my so, legacy. So let me ask you a question. So is that what Tom did? He's like, man, I can't win the Super Bowl this year. Let me win the passing title and the touchdown title. No. This is not about Tom Brady, uh, uh, LaShannon, a.k.a. twerking for your man. This is not about Brady. This is about your guy, LeBron James, how he's failing. I don't know if y'all brothers realize that every time uh, um, Skip got this man on the rope, you got to bring Tom Brady, you got to bring KD in there. No. Skip need to stop that. Skip need to say, hey, man, this is not about Brady. This is not about KD. This is about LeBron, your boyfriend. That you've been twerking for him on TV since you got on Undisputed. Um, is that what he, he did? Had, uh, he, he was <laughs> brilliant in a playoff game. I can't tell. Yeah, no, it was not brilliant. brilliant. If he could play safety, we'd be having was a different Was he better than Matthew Stafford in the game? Well, he was really good. No, no, better than Stafford. Well, yeah, I thought he did outplay Matthew Stafford. He scored 24 unanswered in the second half. Anyway, y'all, uh, this is this is my opinion. At the end of the day, man, LeBron is the reason why the team is doing bad. LeBron is supposed to be the leader, and he's not doing his end of the bargain. He's not playing no defense. He's not, and he's going 30, and they un unpack for 30 I ever seen. So um, please follow the, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, see y'all the next video.